Well guys, uh, you're here with Barry and uh, just dropped off some really great folks at the airport and heading my way back out of the airport to Nagua and um, just got a call from uh, my mechanic buddy Che as usual, I need to put on my seatbelt, what's new with that and uh, 2017, here we are on the 5th of January and things are definitely uh, getting busy back into the new year. Things are, are uh, you know, getting actually quite busy, booking a lot of people to come here. And uh, I just had a few minutes, so I figured on the way back I would do just a little bit of uh, shooting here. Uh, really, four great folks from Canada, a couple that's been here uh, last year and came back a second time. and. They brought along some uh, family with them, a, a uh, sister-in-law and brother to the wife of the couple I met before, and uh, everybody seems to really like it here a lot, uh, and I have a feeling it won't be the last. Uh, watch out while I go over this little sleeping police, and we'll keep going in terms of uh, getting things rolling for 217 with a bunch of new uh, films coming out your way on both our channels uh, bringing in some other equipment some uh, action cameras that are going to capture some of the more uh, rougher roads uh, a much better way that I couldn't capture with the other cameras I have the motion stabilizers just are not meant for off-roading so we'll be getting you guys into some areas that are way out in the middle of nowhere and uh, as I said earlier we're gonna also be redoing a lot of our video areas that we've covered the older ones the older ones uh, it's so inspiring to see many of these are 10 15 thousand views per video so as always we're thanking you guys I sure would love to hear from you Johnny Leanne and I on some other ideas and uh, we'll do our best to bring them your way so I'm leaving the airport now I'm heading back into Nagua like the sign says and I'm going to go have a look at some tires that uh, supposedly, uh, I didn't know, uh, I didn't order, but the company brought them in anyway. It's a size they don't handle. Quite a bit bigger tire. And they said, come on down and have a look. We imported some for you. And I'm going to go have a look at what they got. Uh, it's time to replace them. I'm getting stuck way too often. And I'd say the tread is down to, oh, about 20%. So time to get... Um, looking at prices and am I going to ship them in which is easy to do am I going to buy them locally uh, it's a matter of the same brands are available just for all you folks that you know want the knowledge uh, it, it would be more my decision would be uh, based more on price this time because I'll be able to get the same tire here as I would in the states and all I have to do is calculate my duty and shipping and find out if there's a substantial difference I'll ship it in if it's close I won't uh, it's not worth it. I, one, I'd rather support local economy unless it's tremendously, uh, radically different rather in price. And um, I'd also would rather have uh, the safeguards of if you're dealing with a fellow you know here and you send him business and what have you, uh, the actual manufacturer's warranty. I'd much rather have that here. And. Um, you know, if you buy them outside and what have you, you're going to find people are much more hesitant to, to honor warranties if you buy uh, anything electronic or anything automotive and then have it shipped in. Um, you'll find for the most part, uh, you know, they, they don't honor. But if you buy from them to save reputation and what have you, you'll get much further down the road. So sometimes there's always, like I say, the... The difference of uh, price and value are two different uh, ways of looking at things. 
really uh, two different subjects entirely so it's a good thing to keep in mind when uh, you do your purchasing and what have you I don't think I ever did any filming out this way so uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be new for you guys and uh, we're going to end up um, one uh, Gringo Beach and uh, just outside of Nagua on the uh, the east side uh, the east side of Nagua coming up to it now not too far from it I'm riding along the shoreline right now and I'm going at a slower speed to try and keep the camera stable and what have you so we're on the outskirts of Nagua and uh, it's kind of a neat place though I, again it's one of the places I've never taken any of the DR escapes people uh, to have a look at it it truly is beautiful we're like I say definitely riding along the coast uh, it's a beautiful flat day it's a great day to be out at sea and uh, the weather's just picture perfect this time of year we're running in the low 80s uh, humidity's down around 60 65 percent 70 percent in the morning it's it's low I'll be looking any minute now for the turnoff or just on the outskirts like the sign says of Nagua five kilometers away and if it wasn't such a pretty day I don't think I'd even be doing this filming uh, I, I really don't I think I would uh, save it for some other time when I'm out here but I'm gonna be pulling off the road right now and give you guys a chance to have a look at I'll do a quick panoramic here have a look at Los Gringos the beach of the gringos see here I am in supposedly busy season and I'm just pretty much the only one here so they're doing some cleaning and what have you and things of that nature so I'll pull in the shade here and just do a quick panoramic sweep so here I am at the shoreline at the beach of the gringos give you an idea of what it's like there really isn't a there isn't a bad beach here uh, on the north coast. I don't know of any of them that are anything other than just beautiful. As you can see, I'm right at the shoreline. Don't want to get my feet wet, but I'm really close to doing that. And of course, I don't have my tripod with me, so you'll have to bear with that too. Real soon in the far background, you're going to find the mountains of Samana. And they have all these little grass huts here where people can come and enjoy. Okay, okay we'll catch you soon.